I have to cut these out by hand. Can't do it with the guillotine. So this will all come clear very quickly. pieces to the puzzle are here now. Take off this protective film. Looks so good, so shiny. This protective film really looks after the material. Not a scratch on it. Should look good when the boat's all finished. Beautiful. Now we just got to make it so the glue sticks to it.
now that they're all prepped and both sides and a strip in 50 mil around the edges for when the carpet folds over it's got somewhere to stick as well these surfaces all be carpeted and 50 mil in around the edge of it same with this one 50 million around the edge will be carpet when it rolls over the other side and the glue sticks to the aluminium if you don't scratch it up the glue doesn't stick to it and it'll lift off in a couple of years time whereas hopefully this will last for a lot longer I sprayed the first one here. I sprayed the second one here. It's gone tacky dry. It's ready to lay this down.
that should be enough to do the last of the panel and all the edges. Beautiful. Come on. Back over here. This one should be tacked off now. Full coverage. And all of these I can then sit them up on the table and cut all the corners out that I need to do. See, I've sanded all the edges on the inside of it. This is where this is going to fold up and over. Fold up and over. We'll cut out some corners here, cut out some corners here. Trim off a bit of excess over here. Fold this over here, glue that onto there. And then we go and mount it in the boat. Okay, let's wind these over. First of all, we need to cut some. So this can just fold over nicely here. Because this is a curve, we probably need to put some cuts in here as well, just from experience. do is put some glue on. I've sanded back wherever it's going to touch to. You can see that I've sanded it back here.
let them tack off for a couple of minutes. I don't want to get too far ahead of myself. We've got the big one to do as well. All we do is wait for that to tack off nicely. Do it a little bit more there. How good are my painting skills, eh? I reckon I could paint a car now. You can do anything if you put your mind to it. Give it a go. over the edge of the table here and I can get a good hard corner over that. Slap that down there. Good hard corner. Lift this one off here. Same again. Push that hard corner over there. the two together. I know people say cut the 45s but now they're not 45s. How do you do it when it's not 45? Here we go, another one here. Push that over there. There's a little notch out that I put in there. Lift this off quickly. Bring this edge over, same again. these two together it's a little corner on this edge here Next one. Next one. Next one. Next one. Once they're all done. Trim a little bit off each time. That's just overlapping. So those cuts were just right. The last one, peel that back, peel that back. Drop that over. Boom. There we have it. Make this corner fit nicely. Pull this together. Zoom in on the corner for you. Get the Stanley knife, pull this forward. Push that down. Now you can cut it with 45s and frick around if you want to, but you don't get much better than that. Here, I'll just quickly do this one. 
back, so they touch each other, pull the corners apart, push it in with your fingers, A little bit uneven under there, but you're just not going to see it. This gets screwed down to a panel. There'll be two screws in here. As long as it's overlapping, people cut them just to cut the corners off. And when you cut the corners off, then it'll just lift up on its own. The moment it's lapped around, it's never coming off. And I just do it 40 mil. It doesn't really matter. You can see how much this gets done. Couple more to go. say so myself. You run your hands over it enough, you find any little blemishes, you fix them up now while you can. But look at that. Let's get these into the boat. First time fit. It's got to come off. Too easy. So most of the fabrication's finished now. I painted a bit of the bar here to make it look good. Nice and clean. And this bar as well. Now, the problem I have is a little bit uneven here. It's just how they're made. Not very well made, really. And this is uneven. So when I put my new piece on there, we'll see how it goes anyway. It'll screw down nicely. So, first things first, I'm going to... Put a piece on here. I'll sit this back in the stand. And you can watch from afar. 
Here we go. Aluminium panels. We're going to screw it straight back in to these bars. They're not going to move anywhere. We'll get one on the side. Same here. Two, three. Where are they all? There's in there. Same on the other side. Couple of screws. And I put some wax on the screw because it's going to be cutting its own thread. Here's just a packer because this sits up and this sits up and when you put the lid on the lid was sitting up so when you stood on the lid it had a little tiny bit of flex so I'm just going to put a little bit of carpet on here screw this on to here same deal with a bit of wax. Wax works great. It makes it so easy. It cuts a thread the first time. You don't break the screws. You don't thread the end of them. Making sure the same side.
here, about halfway, same as this one. Put some more screws in it later, but for now that'll hold it in place. And I measured it when I put this on, that when I put these hinges on, that they run into the cross member underneath there. So we've got the maximum amount of strength to hold everything in place. A little bit of beeswax for the hinge screws. Running low. I also use the beeswax for my air saw, for the blade, for the air saw. Snapped it. Bridge in there, Esky in there, batteries in the front there. Needs a little bit of alteration on the wiring so that we can get the lids onto the batteries. But other than that, we have success. Um, this is my Esky, he's probably going to have to get one just to fraction smaller than this. He hasn't got an SP for it here, but if we open it, it touches on the side. If we had a little bit smaller SP, he wants to get one that opens this way as well. So that's just giving some idea of what we've achieved. Bridge. Batteries, covers, all still storage down the side, both sides. We're going to put some struts on here as well. Plenty strong enough. 